Patrick Garrett with me today, and he is from Newton, is that correct? That's correct. Okay, and um, you are a, a chiropractor, and in your practice you treat a lot of people for um, conditions that you don't really use medicines for. That's right. Okay, so tell me, I know you've had really good successes with this. And you had one uh, that really interested me. You had a, a young gentleman who was 15, and he had fatal genetic chromosome mutation. What, what does that mean? Right. So, you know, we have DNA that uh, regulates all the cellular functions and, and how your body processes and works. And so this young man had a chromosome that was mutated. And so every time that the DNA would read and, and multiply, it would make compromised DNA. And this led to the a diagnosis of myelodysplasia, which is pre-leukemia. Okay. And at 15, if you get leukemia, the, the uh, results or yeah. the prognosis really isn't that good. Mm -hmm. And so we, uh, he, his mom came to a lecture of ours before, and she was a nurse and kind of asked if there was anything we could do. And I said, yeah, there's an exciting new science called epigenetics. And from epigenetics, we know that we can turn on and off genes. And most of us are doing this every day, uh, all day long. Mm -hmm. And it comes from the, even the thoughts that we have, you know, are we thinking happy thoughts or are we kind of down on ourselves? Uh, but specifically foods, things like ginger, turmeric, um, uh, even green tea can literally turn on cancer genes or turn off cancer genes. And so what we did was we, we had about six months before he got new DNA testing. So he was getting this last October. Mm -hmm. And... We uh, changed his diet, did very specific, uh, high-dose uh, ginger, turmeric, uh, and a couple of the chemicals that are actually in green tea, and then radically changed his diet. And for that kind of DNA mutation, the most likely uh, etiology or, or vector for that is a, a, a component called um, benzoate or benzene, which is in a lot of the products that you'll see in the grocery store. And so at some point, that chemical was enough or high enough to actually mutate his DNA, and then this is the result. So we uh, had the new DNA testing done. Uh, they did it through bone marrow aspiration in mm -hmm. October, and to our surprise, or not much surprise, 100% of the DNA was now non-mutated, normal chromosome. Wow. Now, and this is a lifestyle he needs to continue. That's right. Right. That's right. So many of us are fighting cancer every day, we just don't know it. Mm -hmm. And when our immune system is impaired or we get too much toxicity from eating things that are made from petroleum, then cancer is able to proliferate and become noticeable. That's an alarming thought, that we're eating products made from petroleum. Yes. What? Explain that. Well, most of your food coloring, so you think about M&Ms, they're, they're the mm -hmm. most notorious, I think, here, because uh, you look at all the different colors and they look bright and pretty, mm -hmm. uh, but yet they're actually made from petroleum products. And so they'll take the, not the gasoline that's worth anything, but they'll take all the stuff that's left over, all those chemicals that are left over from crude oil, and they will use those to make things colored very pretty so you buy more of them. And we see this in our food, our cereals, anything that's really brightly colored, it's usually from petroleum. And the other side is all the flavors. And so if you look at something as simple as uh, uh, vanilla coke. If you look at the ingredients, it doesn't have vanilla, which is from a bean. Mm -hmm. It has vanillin, which is from petroleum. And ah. so it costs 1,200 times less to use petroleum mm -hmm. to flavor your food than actual ingredients. So the corporations make insane profits and we get cancer. <laughs> we get poisoned. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, and you know, that's really alarming because m many times we read labels, we don't know what we're reading. Right. Yeah. And the, the process that we have with patients is, is uh, what's called uh, health coaching and it's through con uh, concierge medicine. Mm -hmm. And we sit down with patients, look at everything that they're consuming and why they consume certain things and then we go through their diet and change those things. Mm -hmm. So from processed foods to real foods, from right. fake foods to healthy foods. Yeah. And you know, through that education, we teach them how to read labels and what to look for. Mm -hmm. And really, the, the food that is healthy doesn't have labels. Right. That's the, the, the key. produce. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's the real key. Well, and that's what we've discovered because um, we started trying to change our lifestyle, change the way we eat. 
and I find that we spend a lot more time in the produce aisle than we ever used to. Um, and I, but the, my problem is I'm needing to learn. Uh, there's a lot of vegetables and things that I don't know how to prepare. So I'm needing to read up and, and find out how to prepare these vegetables because I don't want to miss out on anything. <laughs> That's right. Well, and it's a pretty big learning curve for a lot of patients, especially my generation, Generation X. We grew up on microwave foods. Sure. We didn't buy anything and chop it up. You know, and we felt like it was a good investment mm -hmm. to where uh, people were uh, using processed foods to save money. Well, people can see you at, at your practice, which is at, I had the address down here, 301 North Main in Newton. That's correct. Suite 301. Great. Well, thank you for joining us today. Yes. It, it was, was a, a pleasure. real pleasure. Right. Thank you.